Hey, this is Keith Lockhart, Director of Training at Oxygen Forensics. In this webinar, we're going to have a look at Huawei devices, and specifically those that have the Kirin family chipset. So it's very timely that the company had a blog uh, recently that showed the test points for all the Huawei devices, as this is a test point operation to short the phone into a specific comm mode where we can do that extraction. We just want to take a look at the system on chip of Kirin and the process of identifying those test points, working the extraction, and then, then the most important part is brute forcing offline the password, the secure screen password, because we'll need that to decrypt the blob after we extract it. So that's kind of our goal as we look through these points. We're going to go through the process, and I just kind of set up a screen here where we can look at my Honor 10 and work through things and see how they turn out for us. So I think we're up to 134 devices at this point with a 659, 710, 710F, 810, 960, 70, 80, 90, and 995 g chipsets. But most importantly here, I'm, I'm turning on my Honor and look to see that there's a pin here. So the lock code is 123456 and the whole purpose of that demonstration is to know we have one because that is going to be imperative when it comes to demonstrating the whole let's offline attack that password. we got to have it. I mean, that with Fakim metadata is what lets us get in and decrypt our blob after we extract it. So that's super important. So this is a test point operation, which means we have to get into the phone for sure. Um, I've cheated. I've already taken my fantastic heat gun and extricated the back of the phone. I've also uh, cheated to the effect of remove some of the chassis holder pieces. I've already extracted the camera. <laughs> Things are going to help me uh, get to this a little more easily. I'm surprised I didn't have a rubber band around it. Um, however, for our exercise, not only are we going to use uh, our blog, which shows the test point we'll need to short, I want to have uh, the extractor open so we can navigate to the specific phone in the list. Again, this is the Honor 10. And we'll bring up the device manager so we can see when the phone is shorted appropriately and we insert the USB cable while it's being shorted, it is recognized in device manager as that COM port will need it to be for our extraction. So I'm going to navigate to my phone in the list inside extractor, but first we're going to use the blog article to find the test point for the Honor 10, though at which point we should be shorting uh, to get the phone into COM mode. So if I scroll down here, I can find, uh, there it is. Now, that's the point, and it's kind of right under where the camera would have been and the ribbon cable for the camera. So giving the phone a turn to kind of line things up and a little bit of zoom, we can see that here's the test point in the blog, and there's the test point on the phone. Right? And we can do a little couple of the comparisons to say, yeah, that looks like that, that cover looks the same, there's a screw hole there. I mean, we got the right device and the right point. I mean, I guess you could say that if you're not sparking up some points or you're not really trying, can't say that I haven't uh, hit this point with the wrong thing and seen a spark. But uh, we just want to make sure, kind of validate we got the right thing where I'm going to have to get some tweezers out and hit that point with another metal slot and get the USB cable plugged in at the same time while I'm affecting the short so we can watch the device manager pull up that COM port that allows to extract. So the phone's upside down, um, better for the camera. There's my USB cable. Now I'm going to get crazy and grab some tweezers. Actually, let me zoom out just a little bit here so we can see the test point short and the cable plug in at the same time because it is the magic that, that requires the most intricate effort. Okay, now let me scroll over in the list and find my phone and extractor. And we're going to take a look at the directions uh, for the device as extractor would have us perform them. So it's a two-phase process. All right, first, we're going to extract the data or the physical uh, image, and then we're going to go back after the keys and the metadata for that, and then we have to bust that password, that uh, screen password we saw earlier. So typical oxygen fashion, got to check the box you read the instructions just in case you didn't. All right, so we've got extractor now, waiting on the phone to get into a comm mode. So here's me, tweezers in hand, cable in hand. Let's put one tweeze on the one tweeze. I just made that up. One tweezer point on the test point and one on the frame somewhere else while I plug in and without hearing the windows doo doo you can watch the device manager anyway recognize the device and come up in our Huawei comm mode that's what we want to see okay so on top of that if we look down at extractor it is also now moved on to reading the bootloader of the device 
This is also what we want to see. However, this will take a second, so I'm going to go ahead and talk through and fast forward. So anyway, we're just about done with the bootload process. Perfect. Okay, so now, from a reconnection standpoint, uh, we've done what we've done from the bootloader. We're going to do our fix. We're going to restart the phone, and we're ready to extract. There we go. So I'm just going to change the uh, uh, extraction location, and we'll extract. And once again, we'll go crazy for a long zoom to get to the end of that extraction process, because that is where the super cool, I mean, it's all super cool, but that's where the super, super cool stuff starts. and go. Okay, so if you could just disregard this ridiculous piece of reality right here, um, I could brag something about uh, not only do we do what we do, uh, we've increased the extraction process by 50 times with our new super cool extractor technology. <laughs> um, you know, the beauty of Camtasia, I can extract at 50 times speed right here. Really cool. And this time I won't do the chipmunk voice. Uh, but this will get us to the end, and the end is where, after the extracted blob, the encrypted extracted blob is sitting there, we're literally done with the phone. I mean, we can unhook it and move on, because we're going to turn around and go back in there and determine key metadata that will help us salt our algorithm to break the password and go to town. So thus begins the search for the uh, ingredients for our potion, essentially, as we go searching the key metadata for those keys to the kingdom to decrypt our blob, we find that, and then comes the even super cooler part, where we engage Passware to do our brute force attack on that screen lock code I showed you in the beginning. So look, you can configure different dictionaries and Passware to run with multiple engines and go fast. We could start the thing right here, we could put a password in if we knew it, or we could modify the dictionaries we want to use for that attack. I happen to know it's a pin that's one uh, four to nine digits, so I'm just going to select that and cheat, but you saw it when we started the video. Literally, this will happen so fast that the program doesn't even register the fact it made an attack, but it will find it, and then I have to pause and focus on this exact frame to talk about its importance. So at this point, it knows the pin. It's finished. And it would have come up with this in that little window, but I'm bringing it to our attention because, folks, these are the keys to the kingdom that we just did offline, that you didn't have to ship away for someone to do for you. So we are taking a Huawei device with one of those chips in the Karen family, doing an extraction, turning around with our secret sauce, finding the data from the key structure we need, incorporating the password we can break, and extracting the keys to decrypt that blob. That, my friends, is a new option for your toolbox. Okay, let's review. Remember, this is a Karen family exploit. So 659, 710, 710F, 810, 960, 970, 980, 990, and the 5G variant of 990 are the family of chipset we're 134 devices into supporting right now. It is a test point operation, so the timeliness of the oxygen blog showing all the test points uh, just kind of let this fall right into place behind it. And it was an operation where, if you recall in the beginning of the video, we have a pin code on this phone. This is file-based encryption. We need that pin code in conjunction with several other things to get what we want. We can brute force that pin code with Passware in your detective suite already. That is the key. So this just leaves me with my final graphic. Listen, if you got the phone and it's not locked, get after it. I mean, you're ready to go. If it is locked, do you have the code, yes or no? Well, if you do have the code, enter it in the box and get after it. If you don't have the code, so what? Get after it. You've got a process now where you don't need external help. We want you to succeed in-house. Get that password going. Get that brute force attack against that pen going. And get after it. Okay, I hope this has been helpful. Keep on learning. We'll speak to you later.